All right, we're back. This is the Hollywood Entrepreneur Show. Of course, it's your celebrity business news. And uh, we're going to talk a little politics. We do from Ooh. time to time. I mean, you know, politicians have brands. They've got an image. They've got to they manage. Uh, well, There's a couple celebrity <laughs> politics. Yeah. Politicians. And, uh, okay. So <laughs> don't derail me here, Lauren. Uh, do you say you're sorry? That, that's kind of the question of the day. You know, yeah. there's, a, there's more and more politicians that are making mistakes and they've got to decide, do you say you're sorry? I think you do. You do? Yeah. See, you know, it's interesting because you don't see a lot of them saying it. Nope. And it's a strategic move. Mm -hmm. Maybe it shouldn't be a strategic move. That's a problem. Maybe we just solved the whole problem right there. Maybe it should be a moral thing and not a strategic thing. I, I don't exactly. know. Exactly. Um, but uh, Hillary Clinton, yep. I is think she, she ever going to apologize? No, she's not. Or does she have nothing to apologize for? In uh, her mind, if she apologizes, or in any anyone's mind, if she mm -hmm. apologizes, that is equivalent to her admitting she's so, wrong and she did mess up. But she's standing by what she did was ethical and right, and it wasn't wrong, and there yeah. was no foul play. So, so why would she apologize if there was no foul play in her uh, political? Yeah, we got Ted, Gru Ted Cruz who just did an apology not mm -hmm. too long ago to Ben Carson, and it was interesting that here he tries to do it, and it comes across weak or wrong or problematic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does it? Did it help? You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, people want Trump to apologize all the time. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while he There's has. There's not enough apologies not, to go around for yeah, Trump. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and, you know, is it fair to just say, hey, look, I'm politically not correct, and does yeah. that just kind of give him a, a blank check to now say whatever he wants? Carte blanche. I think Donald Trump gets carte blanche, receives carte blanche, because he, is, he speaks his mind, no one's funding him. He's funding himself. So, yeah. you know, he doesn't have any worries. And I think that's part of his persona. Yeah. Now, Hillary Clinton and some of these other politic politicians, yeah. they are trying to walk by code of ethics. And this yeah. is, I'm really integrous. And then they're not apologizing when they're caught on something which is deemed yeah. wrong. Yeah. And, yeah, well, we were so talking about this a little bit at lunch. You know, people, I love to study successful people, ask them yeah. a lot of questions. I got the chance to... Uh, Kind of interview this this billionaire. Now's probably not the time to say who that is or who that isn't. But in this story, I said, you know, look, what was it? What did everything change? What was yeah. the game changer? You know, I'm talking to this when 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 did did everything change for you? And he's like, oh, that's easy. He's like, as soon as I had go to hell money. I thought, well, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, what's what's that? What do you mean? And he said, well, you know, in the beginning, you got to kind of get along and maybe you got to do business with people you don't really like yeah. and. You know, you you do these things whether you want to or want. You know, you got to play along. Maybe yeah. sometimes you got to do deals for political reasons. Yeah. Um, but after you get a certain amount of money, if you don't want to do something, you can just say go to hell. You have yeah. enough money that you can just <laughs> tell anybody at any time to go to hell. And uh, you know, no that, that was very interesting. It's yeah. a very interesting point. And I think that that's what I think of um, when it comes to Donald Trump. Yeah. He has go to hell money. He doesn't yeah. have the lobbyists. He's not no. striking the big deals. If he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't have to do it. So you're a business professional. Not only that, you build businesses, you market businesses, you create yeah. brands. When do you think it's time to say sorry? Or do you say sorry? Does saying sorry hurt your brand? That is a tough one. You know, I, I, morally, you know, if you do something wrong, you know, I, I'm, I always want to see people say they're sorry. And they want to yeah. say it in a certain way. You, gotta, yeah. you do have to craft the message. Sorry, it's the public system. I mean, there's some, there's some, <laughs> well, no, it should, matter of fact, it should be weak. And yeah. sometimes it needs to be sincere. Yeah. But there are a lot of times where, you know, I don't know if saying sorry is really going to help you. Mm -hmm. Now, and maybe that's the problem. People are saying sorry in order for it to help them and not yeah. because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. So if you're looking at a moral decision, yeah. Um, but you'd be surprised at what the American people will forgive yeah. if you'll just admit to it. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times yeah. you don't even have to say you're sorry. Now, it helps if you say you're sorry. Yeah. But if you just admit to... Yeah. what you did wrong. They'll yeah. forgive anything. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, look at look at Bill Clinton going back to another oh politician. My oh my goodness. Speaking of the Clintons. Everybody forgives that. Well, not everyone. Yeah. That's not true. So not a lot of people don't. But there's a lot of people that really just kind of let all that yeah. go. Mm -hmm. You know, he kind of did somewhat of an apology mm -hmm. uh, after saying he didn't do things that, yeah. that I guess he apparently did. But, you know, most of these people that apologize at work. And it's interesting... The apologies of 2015, uh, and Ari Ariana Grande, yeah. uh, Apollo Dean, yeah. Charlie Sheen, you know, all these people. 
Um, I think the apology probably helped. Yes. But yeah, you hate to be in a situation where you have to make that call yeah. of, do I apologize? Yeah. I don't know American people. We like to pose the question to you sometimes. I think we get feedback <laughs> on the website and other places. When do you apologize? Are, are, you know, think about this. Be honest with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. Do you forgive people if they'll just apologize? Do you not care what they did as long as, long as they apologize? It would appear that's the case yeah. because a lot of people have gone on to have very successful careers. But David, do you think that Hollywood is different? So we talk about you know NFL players, celebrities, mm -hmm. but then politics is a. I think it's a whole different ball game. For example, if Hillary came out and said, "I'm sorry, you know, I, what I did, I made a mistake," and so forth, wouldn't that hurt her campaign? Versus helping because then you have people raising question marks. Well, can we trust her to be president in the White House? So I think you know sometimes when it comes to politics, I think it's kind of yeah. a different game yeah. than. Celebrity. Yeah. Well, look uh, in in, in the in the behind the scene worlds of, of of the Democratic Party. I mean, they they call her Hillary Teflon Clinton because yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing sticks. <laughs> nothing sticks. If she did say sorry, maybe something would stick a little bit more. Where it's okay, she said sorry, so she did something wrong. What should now happen? Because yes. she did something wrong. Um, you know, she's got a lot of haters out there. Yeah. Uh, and you know, and, and every party does, mm -hmm. and every politician does, some more, some more than others. So I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, morally, you know, if you did something wrong, you should do that. Yeah. But in the business world, in the political world, it's tough to figure out yeah. how far do you take that sorry, how far do you go, yeah. you know, how far do you uh, explain it and expound upon it and sit yeah. in it. Um, but the bottom line here is people are forgiving. Yeah. Uh, I, I hate to bring up old mistakes, but just to prove this point, look at Michael Vick. Yeah. Dog Mike, fighting. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, something that got a lot of people yeah. really upset, really? And, and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. He goes to jail, everything else. But, you know, he sincerely apologizes. He does his time. He comes out. I definitely think there's some people who don't forgive him, but I think overall people want to forgive yeah. him because he's a success, because he made a mistake, because it seemed like he did a lot. He lost a lot. Yeah. And then he went on to, um, you know, prove that that he had changed, mm -hmm. you know, as much as somebody can prove it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do you say you're sorry? I mean, I want to pose it to everybody. I mean, what what do you think? I I believe in saying sorry. I believe in apologizing. I mean, you look at so you so if you're representing Hillary, you say Hillary, just say you're sorry. Well, that's a whole politics again. Like I said, see, so why is it different? See, this I I, got, I struggle with the same thing too. What, should it be different in politics? Well, when, I personally am not a Hillary fan, but I would like her to apologize. But mm -hmm. um, I do you want Trump then to apologize too? <laughs> Trump, and this sounds really biased, but Trump he owes a lot of apologies. Uh -huh. But again, it's he's gone past the point of return. Like there's no going back. <laughs> like if he started apologizing for one thing, he would have to sit and have a list of. So everything. you don't want him to apologize for any one thing because he'd have to you, apologize for you too know, many it, things. It's, it's different though. What? Donald okay. Trump is not politically correct. He. So that is his brand. So he's being true to himself by saying, "Look, I'm not politically. Uh, you know, if if he if his brand was, hey, I'm the nice guy." Yeah. And he was running from these. Exactly. Okay, I got it. So Hillary is uh, big on integrity and doing, you know, really being a woman of, you know, integrous and making great decisions and wanting to run the White House. With that being said, this isn't her a part of her persona. It was yeah. a tactile. It was a physical mistake. She made mm -hmm. a decision. It's not something she said. It was mm -hmm. something she did. Mm -hmm. So I think that's different. Just like. Tiger Woods, Kobe Bryant, it's something they did, not mm -hmm. something they said, therefore they came out and apologized. Mm -hmm. It was an action, mm -hmm. um, just like Vic. So I think whenever people take action to do something, they have to pedal back and say, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, they do. I, look, I've had to make some apologies. Yeah. You probably had to make some apologies, yeah. right? Uh, some Quite painful a few. ones. <laughs> uh, <Mom>? But uh, <laughs> look, celebrities, we get free advice on this show every once in a while. Athletes, politicians, celebrities, <laughs> you got a brand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think you apologize and you know if you did something wrong you apologize for it the quicker you do it the better Yeah, you know in crisis management PR management the bigger yeah. problems is when people let it go deny it avoid it uh, You do want to make yeah. sure it's a problem first But as soon as you know it's a problem as soon as you get the first opportunity 
Apologize. Apologize. That's how you become the successful Hollywood entrepreneur.